Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I layer candles using three different scents for spring. So if you want to see how I accomplish this on these masterpieces, keep on watching. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited because today we have a very nice video, guys. I'm going to be making an experiment and I'm going to be doing it with you so you can see whether this fails or whether this works out. Uh, it's going to be a very time consuming candle guys because I'm going to be making a candle. I'm going to be using these two different glass vessels. Let me put them to the front. I already wicked them to save time guys uh, because this is going to be, I'm going to be making different layers guys on this candle. I'm going to be using color. On every layer, I'm gonna be using a different scent, okay? I'm gonna make a, like a surprise candle, so every time, uh, so as the wax volume comes down, as the candle burns, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna reveal a new fragrance, okay? So it's gonna be like a surprise fragrance, okay? And uh, this idea came from one of my new subscribers, and I just wanna thank her for giving me this great idea, you know? So I told her that I was gonna work on this, you know? So let's see. Now, uh, the trick is, we need to find a, a combination of fragrance oils that will work on the candle. So as one melts, as one layer melts and the other one comes through, you know, I just want to make it like a tell a story, you know, like a, so I think it's going to be very interesting. Okay, guys. So as you can see in here, I have a few selections that I just made and I'm going to be testing them with you guys. So I can give you my opinion on what smells the best. And at the same time, I have in here some color, uh, liquid color. And that I'm gonna be using. I'm not gonna be using too much color, guys, because I wanted to make it like uh, like pastel, like like very nice and, and um, you know, you know how it is spring, you know, like Easter, you know, pastel colors like the blue on the on the wall, light pink, light green, something like that, you know. So I'm gonna aim to do uh, light colors, but you know, like I've never done it before, so we're gonna do it together. So let's see how this works out, okay? Now I told you I'm using two CDN number threes because I went by the guy from sixteenseventeen.com. Uh, and because I don't have a wick holder that will hold two of these, I use my, my trusty uh, homemade wick holder, okay? And then here, I'm using the Northern Can Supply 49 cube. This is uh, for, the, uh, for double for double wicking. I also use two CDN number threes, okay? I'm gonna be using Soy Bliss Wax, which is the wax that I always like to use. And, so what I wanna do guys is I wanna make one candle. I wanna make one candle that is gonna be like floral and the other candle is gonna be like clean, like fresh, like uh, lavender, like lemon and citrusy, you know, something like <sighs> when you open the windows and you get the fresh air coming in, you know, you get a beautiful scent, you know, so why not, okay? So I'm gonna start now playing with the fragrance oils. And by the way, I already did the numbers, so I know how much uh, wax I'm gonna be needing for each container, okay? And I wanna use 10% fragrance oil, but again, this is gonna be complicated because I'm gonna be using several fragrance uh, oils for this, for this candle, okay? Now, we, I need to find out how many layers should I put in on every candle. For example, in here, no more than, uh, I don't think no more than three layers on this one, you know, I think, Three layers should be plenty, okay? And I'm gonna go from the darker color to the lightest on the top. Okay, and in this one, I'm gonna go by the ridges of the glass. Also three layers, okay? I don't want it to be, I don't want it to look uh, tacky, you know? I would say two layers, but I think three layers is gonna be perfect. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide the amount of wax that I need on three divided by three for each of the candles. And I'm gonna be using the small, small containers like this to add the fragrance oil and the, and the different colors, okay? So it's, like I told you, it's gonna be very time consuming. So let me just take three of these and let me just start uh, testing the fragrance oil to see what smells good with what. I'm not gonna use any of the uh, 1617 uh, oils because I think those are, unique and you need to use that by themselves you know unless you mix them with each other you know but i don't think for this kind of a uh, test i don't think it's going to be useful for me because i don't want to you know it's you don't want to ruin something that is already good okay so i'm going to keep it to the side i'm not going to be using that today so let's see in here i want a floral candle the first one 
I'm gonna uh, test is Tahitian petals. This is from Sweet uh, Sweet Cakes. Guys, Sweet Cakes have very good fragrance oils, by the way. You know, I uh, have also a uh, Fracas Deluxe. Also, uh, that one's gonna be uh, I'm gonna be testing that one. Okay, let me put this to the side. Lime basil mandarin. Let me just open this one because I don't know about the basil. Okay, I just wanna let's see. This smells really nice. This could be a good, uh, a good a good mix. A nice balance of notes, you know, and that's what I love. Um, Sixty seventeen because I think the chemists are amazing. Whoever does the, the scent, amazing. Okay, this is Fracas Deluxe from Sweet Cakes. This is very expensive oil, uh, but it's heavenly. It's worth the price, guys. So these in here are the, not this one, uh, citrus in here. So this one I'm gonna keep, put the clean candle in here to the left. This is gonna be for the floral, okay? So let me start with the first one that I made. It was Tahitian petals. Oh. Okay, Tahitian petals, very, very Hawaiian, that is. It smells like um, a plumeria. This is basically plumeria for me. Okay, so if I mix this with lime basil mandarin, let's see. It smells really nice, very fresh. Very spring, very springy. The uh, the lime really like wakes all the the back notes up. <sighs> Beautiful. Uh, let me see ocean rose and Tahitian petals. <sighs> no, they're competing against each other. Okay, then I'm gonna see rose petals. Wow, okay. This one is pure, beautiful. So the cats are fighting because they're hungry. Okay. Beautiful. Rose petals with lime basil mandarin. This is heavenly, guys. Uh, I eat like it's even better than Tahitian uh, petals. But let me just put it, let's see. Okay. So this could work because I'm telling I'm telling I'm, I'm gonna be doing three different layers. So every layer is gonna have one of these fragrance oils. Okay, I'm not mixing anything. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, it's like which layer should should I go? Uh, should I put first? Okay, let's see. Should I put the if I have so I have four different. I need to get rid of that one. One. So it, it's between uh, Tahitian petals. Or rose petals. Okay, let me see. Fracas Deluxe smells like like rose petals too. So I'm gonna leave rose petals out. I'm gonna add uh, Fracas Deluxe, lime basil mandarin, and Tahitian petals. Okay, this really works really nicely, guys. Okay, I wanna bring something else to the party. Uh, I'm gonna bring this one from. Stone candle. I'm gonna make a sense trip out of this one because they have to work together. They have to go. They have to work well, well together. As one melts, the other one comes comes up into the into the party. So we, I just trying to put in my mind. Okay, which one do I like better? Do, do these belong together on this kind of candle, or do I need to think about uh, another combination? White grapefruit and acai from some candles. Wow, this is amazing. No wonder I bought it. And I got a big bottle too. Okay, let's see this one with Tahitian petals. It smells good, but it's not. It's not calling my name. Okay, Tahitian petals to the side. Let's see with rose petals. So white uh, white grapefruit and acai and. Rose petals, yes. You see, this is telling me a story. This is telling me a story of romance. Uh, the rose petals, it's like, 
surround this uh, the white grape one in a kind. I think it, uh, it just it runs it. It's like hugging the wood. Okay, so this is. I mean, I'm even getting goosebumps. I don't know if you can see them. That's how powerful uh, the sense of uh, scent it is for me. Oh my god! Oh, this is glorious, guys. Okay, now to end to end the party. Let's see lime basil mandarin. I'm gonna tell you how this is gonna go around. Okay, this is the order I'm gonna put this. This is gonna be the candle. Let me just. This is. This smells like a lot of money done. This smells expensive, okay? Let me just make a note of this and I'm gonna tell you why am I doing this. So, so number one, it's gonna open with rose petals because it's a spring candle, okay? So that's gonna give you like welcome spring. Follow, okay, I'm just putting here rose petals. Number two is gonna be uh, the white grapefruit and acai. Why? Because love makes you hungry. And I think the white grapefruit and the acai it gives you like yumminess. Like it's, it wants to hug you, it wants to keep you on, on, on an embrace, okay? And the lime basil mandarin is more relaxed, more calming, you know? So it goes, it takes you to lay down with me and forever, okay? So this tells the story is falling in love, making love, and lay down together. That's the best way I can describe it to you guys. I mean, candle, strong candles, and Candle silence. Okay, candle number one. Perfect. I'm gonna put the order. Rose petal first. White grapefruit and acai. And lamb basil mandarin. Guys, you don't know how I come up with this formulation, with this order. It's just like the, uh, the fragrance oils, they talk to me. You know, it's something that I have inside that I, when I, when I smell the fragrance on the strip, I close the eyes and it tells me a story. They sing to me, they talk to me. And I know that's the order that's going to be, they're going to work the best, okay? Okay, can kind of number one, and it's going to be equal parts for all of them, okay? Uh, the Fracas Deluxe is going to be too powerful to put in this candle, guys. Fracas Deluxe, uh, it's, it's made to be put in one candle, okay? And not to be mixed with something else. I just came to the conclusion with that too, you know? No, that's why I'm not gonna be using it in this candle. But I highly recommend it. Rose petals, white grapefruit acai, and lime basil mandarin. Perfection. Okay, red currant. I love this from Stone Candles. I don't have the black currant. Okay, the next one. A Karashi blood orange, also from Stone Candle. This is amazing. It's very exotic, you know? Guys, I got in touch with uh, Stone Candles. Uh, anyway, I, I bought the Santal and also um, Kate, the Labo style. Both of them are coming, I think they're coming tomorrow. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna show them to you on Sunday and I'm gonna do some uh, review to see how I like them. Unfortunately, they won't be making it for this video. Next one, lavender and cedar from Food Cakes. Okay, I'm getting overwhelmed with all these fragrance oils. The last one, lemon lavender. I was thinking about, let's play with these guys. Okay, the first one that I want to try, uh, it's going to be, I'm uh, going to be, this going to be most, most, mostly lavender type. So lemon lavender from the flaming candle. Look at how... I know the wax is gonna turn this color, so I don't mind it. So the, the layer that this goes, I won't put any color, or maybe I'll put more color to make it. Who knows? Okay. It's beautiful. I love the lemon. It's not too lavender-ish. So now I'm gonna mix this lavender, lemon lavender, with lavender and cedar. Wow, this is very strong. Uh, no. Lavender and cedar, and this together is too potent. When you add two strong fragrances like this, they fight with each other and it ruins the whole vibe. It ruins the whole vibe, so. 
Okay, so let me see. Red currant, lemon lavender. Okay, this one's really nice. They're singing together really well. It's like this. I see them swinging and intertwining, you know, at the same time, even though they're not going to be mixed together. But they part, they, there's a nice transition from one note to the other. And that's what you have to look for. You don't have to, you know, uh, you're trying to avoid uh, something like it's going to be shh, that's trying to get into the other one and, and you see them resisting. This one works really well. And the Karachi Blood Orange. Something I'm not liking. The Karachi Blood Orange doesn't go. So I'm taking this out of the party. It's a good scent. It doesn't go well with lavender. Okay, let me see if I like uh, lavender, cedar, and red currant together. I don't like the, the whole scent. Lavender and cedar. It's good, but it's not for me. And guys, please, you know, uh, I don't want people to think that because I don't like it, you don't, you're don't, not going to buy it. I'm giving you my honest opinion. If I don't like something, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Okay, let's see if I have something else in here on my uh, stone candles. Okay, let's see Lishi. Lishi has notes orange peel, crisp, tropical fruit, green leaf, exotic wood, lychee zest. Let's see, let me see how it smells out of here. FedEx is here. Okay, let me try this one. This one smells really nice. Lychee. And I know a lot of you guys like this one. Um, I'm trying to feed the pets at five o'clock. I've been feeding them at three o'clock and they get up at three in the morning. And that's not fair for Matthew because he's the one that gets up in the morning. You know, so I'm gonna, today I'm gonna feed them at five. Beautiful. And let's see how it does with uh, red currant. Oh, wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. These two together. Oh my God. And let me see with lemon uh, lavender. This is it, guys. This is it. Okay. I'm gonna open. I'm gonna, I need to find the order. What is this? What story is this telling me now? Okay. Okay. Uh, definitely lemon lavender is going to be the first one. Why? Because I want to open the windows. I want the fresh air to come in. And that's the lemon, uh, the lemon lavender. Okay. I'm fr uh, here's the fresh air. Come inside. Okay. It cleans the whole house. Beautiful smell as the Wax melts and the next layer comes in. <sighs> Recurrent is the one. Why? Because it, I feel like it's, it's embracing me. The same way the white grapefruit and a car is embracing me in the other one, this one is embracing me on this candle. Okay? That's why it's going to be on the second one. And the, and the last one is going to be lychee, the fruit one, because it's fresh. It's just, it keeps fresh forever. Okay? And that's the story this, this is giving me. It's amazing how this talks to me, guys. And what I like about this is that, you know, don't think about it too much. Just say what you feel. Say what the... Uh, so like I was saying, just tell the story as it comes to you. You know, this is how the, the, the great scientists and the great uh, uh, writers come uh, to, to, to a huge success. The first thing that comes to your mind, just put it down, write it, write it down, you know, and go with, go with your gut feeling, you know, and it's going to be a success. You know, not always, but just follow your heart. I'm following my heart, and this is the order that I want to follow, guys. So, okay, so let me just uh, now start experimenting with the colors, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So let me just put the, the oils in here. Okay, and the order that's going to go, it's going to be lemon lavender. Red currant and lychee. Let me find the lychee. Okay, so this is the one that's gonna go. And the one that's gonna go is only rose petals. This is for the floral. White, grapefruit, acai, and lime basil mandarin. So this is the deep sherry that I'm gonna be using for this. And I'm just gonna be putting like a something like that. Okay. Then the white grapefruit, I'm not going to add any color. And from the lime basil mandarin, I'm going to try, I'm going to try the lemon yellow. Again, a speck. So when it mixes with these three, it's not going to be, it's other one that they kind of look messy, you know? So, okay. So I'm going to add 
this tiny bit okay that's all I'm gonna add for the white grapefruit in the middle I think I'm gonna uh, I think I'm gonna keep it white okay and let's see what happens I know these are gonna bleed together okay so that's why it's it's just an experiment because this is already yellow in there I don't feel like putting color there guys because the wax itself is already but I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of gold just to give it a you know just why not so I'm just gonna put a tiny tiny little bit Okay, for red current, of course they have to be red because remember the gold is going to blend into the red. So like I told you, I'm, I'm, maybe, I'm hoping that this will come like pastels and not a rich color. I'm not aiming to, for a rich color, maybe just for a soft color. Okay, so I'm adding this much. Move this over. And for the lychee, I don't even know what color is lychee. I'm gonna make it dark. So I'm gonna make it uh, something dark. I think lychee is darker in color. So I'm gonna add the fuchsia. Isn't this fun, guys? I love I love doing this kind of testing. You know. Okay. So now we got all the colors selected. I'm gonna keep the white grapefruit um, in white. Okay guys, so I need to have the cell phone to, to find out how much uh, I need uh, to put on each of the colors, okay? I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back, so I got the numbers. So the first candle is gonna be the, hex, uh, the hexagon here. The, and the second candle is gonna be the clean scented one, the lemon lavender. Okay, and I'm going to need for every candle, total of this one here, the big one, I'm going to need 12.73 ounces of wax and for 10% fragrance load, it's gonna be, I'm gonna need 1.27 ounces of fragrance oil. For this one, the square one, I'm going to need 10 point, uh, no, let's see. 10.91 ounces of wax and 1.09 ounces of fragrance oil, okay? Now, I need to divide this by three because I'm gonna be doing three pours, remember? So I got the numbers, yeah, okay. Now I need to add some more wax to my presto pot, guys. I'm gonna start uh, getting the oils ready. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna start pouring the uh, measuring the oils. And you have to remember the oils are gonna be in reverse. You know why? Because the, you have to go from the bottom up. Okay. So the first oil that I'm going to measure for the flower is going to be the lime basil mandarin, okay? I almost made that mistake. I just think about it. You know what? It goes from the bottom up, okay? So let's do that. So remember, it's every... For this candle, it's going to be 0 0.42. Okay? That oil it goes from the bottom up. And this for lavender, L for lavender. I don't want to get confused. Okay, let me get another pipette. For this candle, 0 0.36. Okay, 0 0.36 of lychee. Remember, it's the last layer that I'm doing first. 0 0.36. Okay. Let's check the temperature. So you can start cooking. By the time that I transfer this in here, it's gonna cool down 20 degrees, so I'm not really that worried. Or lime base and mandarin. This one is lime base and mandarin, so I'm gonna add the color. Okay, and let me just get the spatula so I can start. Okay, and I'm gonna add the fragrance oil too. Floral. I'm gonna test the color in here. This is this all completely. Yes. It's very light. Perfect. Add the color. Mix. Add 
Um, the pig ant oil. You see the temperature? Two hundred, perfect. Perfection. Okay, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean all this up. I'll be back in an hour to see how this has solidified so I can start working on the next layer, okay? If they are not solidified, I'm gonna have to wait until later tonight to do the second layer, and then tomorrow I'll do the third layer, okay? Because I don't want them to mix, I don't want them to bleed into the, they have to be completely uh, solidified, okay guys? So I'll see you in a little bit. Hi guys, so welcome back, darling, yes! So guys, I went ahead and I added the second layer, okay? This is the candle number one, which is gonna be the floral one. And this is candle number two, which is gonna be the clean scent, the fresh scent, okay? So the second layer is, for this one, is green and uh, white grapefruit acai. Acai, this is the one. This is from uh, some candles. The second layer on this one is red currant, also from some candles. And the color in this one, I didn't add any color because I didn't feel like, and then this one I added a little bit of a super red color, okay? But as you can see, you know, it's starting to get solidified, and then uh, it's turning, so you can see the difference in color in here, look, okay? So I'm very happy, I'm very excited, guys, so I'm, hopefully this uh, candle will be uh, a hit, you know? And if I decide to go into this kind of, um, into this kind of candle, uh, I will have to have a, you know, people will have to really want it for me to make it because it's a lot of, uh, time consuming and the price point will be too high, okay? Because we do, we are using uh, more of my time, you know, and time is money. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna wait until this solidifies really well. Right now it's six o'clock, and I'm gonna wait until they get really very, very hard. And later tonight, I'm gonna add uh, the last layer and I'll be right back. Yes! Hi, guys, welcome back. So I'm about to pour the, uh, the last layer on this beautiful candle, guys. I'm so excited about it. Look at the beautiful color. They're getting, you know, it's very subtle, which I, that's what I want, I was looking for. So now I'm gonna be doing the top layer. It's gonna be a deep cherry color. So I have this, the tiny uh, color in there. Now I'm waiting for the, for the soy blades to go back to temperature, guys. Okay, guys, so we are back. So uh, I'm gonna let this uh, solidify, guys. And tomorrow I'm gonna finish the videos. I'm gonna show you how it looks once they are solidified. I'm very happy with the way they came out. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so this is the day after, and I just wanna show you how beautiful the candles came out. Uh, the first one, it's gonna be my floral candle for spring. Look at the beautiful colors, guys. Look at that. I'm so happy because this is what I was aiming for, like a pastel-like colors, perfect for spring, guys. The CT is amazing in both of them, okay? I'm very surprised, but like I told you guys, soy bliss wax, it's the best. Okay, this one is like the clean, citrusy uh, spring candle. Look at how beautiful the colors are. Again, very like uh, pastel-like, you know, perfect for spring. <sighs> beautiful opening notes of lemon lavender from the flaming candle. Yes! Okay, guys, so let me show you the colors that I use. Okay, for the, for the first layer, I use deep sherry okay and i and i only use a tiny little bit a tiny speckle you know like a like a tiny piece uh, like a tiny piece because i want i didn't want the color to be uh dark okay for the middle layer i did not use any color because i wanted to keep it white and for the yellow color in here i use lemon yellow again a tiny speck of yellow you can use any color you want. You can use liquid color. You can use any kind of, uh, any color you want. Just make sure that you use very minimal amount just to give a kind of tonality that you want, okay? It's up to you whether you want the color to be darker, so you put more. So these are like solid chips like that. So I just put a, like a very tiny chip and that was all I needed, okay? And then on this candle in here, for the top layer, I added gold, a gold chip, Okay, again, a very tiny amount. For the middle color, I use a 
fraction of this super red again very minimal because I wanted like a pinky tone like this and for the bottom layer I use fuchsia again a very tiny amount to keep it pastel in okay guys so now I'm gonna read you about the different notes for the oils that I use let me just so let's start with the floral candle guys so um, on, on the top layer remember when you're gonna do this kind of candles you have to start from the bottom up okay. lime basil mandarin from the from the flaming candle guys and let me read you the notes because I went to the website and I got some notes for you okay so this is lime basil mandarin and let me re let me read you the description okay An integrate blend of Italian mandarin accented with juicy lime and herbaceous earthy basil accords inspired by the Joe Malone scent that's why I picked this okay so these are notes for this the top uh, the top notes are lime lemon basil mint and amber beautiful the middle note is a uh, mandarin floral and the bottom note is moss and patchouli okay a combination of beautiful earthy citrusy herbal everything that you want to have on a on a beautiful spring candle is in here okay the middle layer it's from stone candles it's called white grapefruit acai and it's the label and let me let me read to you their notes this fragrance begins with a strong grapefruit top note with an acai berry influence and a green galbanum character these notes continue into the main theme where they are joined with a, a peach accord this is followed by a jasmine accord and a base character of musk and balsam vanilla twist. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. You can get, uh, this tells you the whole story here. I, uh, this is what I like so much. This is what I like layering uh, the way I did because every layer tells you a story, okay? <sighs> beautiful. I think people are gonna love these kind of candles, guys, because uh, it's so surprising that as the, as the candle burns and another fragrance evolves how well they mix together um, when one finishes and the other and the other one starts okay it's like it's a being into a movie okay with three different uh scenes and that's what i like about this it's a surprising way for you to use candles in order to uh, just offer a different product you know it's like it's very time consuming but sometimes, when you work this hard, it pays off, okay? Because they're gonna be different from all the rest of the candles out on the market. Okay, the top layer is rose petals, and this is amazing, guys. Okay, so let me read to you about rose petals from Candle Science. Okay, the top notes, I'm just gonna read you the notes first. The top notes, the top notes are uh, green leaves, and ozone. Uh, the middle note is Jlang 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 and Lily of the Valley, Carnation and Rose. And the base note is Peppercorn and Powder. Very springy, very, uh, I don't know. It's like when you open a, a window and you get let the fresh air come in and you have like a rose bush right in front of your house and you just smell this beautiful smell, guys. It's, it's amazing. Okay, let me read you the description from Candle Science, okay? Embrace romance with our enchanting rose petals fragrance oil. This modern floral experience blooms with top notes of ozone and green leaves before revealing heart of rose, carnation, lily of the valley, and young land. Powder and a hint of peppercorn in the base bolster, the simply beauty of this classic scent. I'm going to start from the bottom note up, okay? So the... The bottom note in here is a lychee. Lychee is a scent from Stone Candles, guys. This is very different, very unique, very special. I think you're gonna fall in love with this one, okay? So let me read you about the um, the notes. 
Okay. The top note of lychee is orange peel, orange peel crisp. The middle note is tropical fruit, green leaf, and the bottom notes is exotic wood lychee sets. Orange peel adds a crisp accent to this tropical fruit blend, while exotic wood and green leaves enhance the fruity sensation. This is perfect for, for spring, perfect for summer, perfect for uh, a bright, fresh day, you know? It's like, I think this could go, it's great for all year round, you know? But especially for uh, for spring, when you open the windows again and you can let the fresh air come in, or if you go to the beach and you let it. So this is gonna bring you memories years after when you come back home and you light up this candle, you're gonna have the memories of when you go, when you went away, okay? Yeah. The middle layer, which is the pink one, this one here, is made of red currant, another scent from Stone Candle. Okay, I have the, let's see, I don't have the notes on the label, but I have the notes on paper here. Okay, the top note is tart geranium, uh, the middle note is sheer white florals, and the bottom note is rose and wood, okay? Beautiful. Perfect for, for, uh, for a floral candle. I just, I just fell in love so much with this. <sighs> it's pure spring, guys. It's pure energy, pure summer, pure romance. <sighs> I highly recommend this fragrance oil to anyone who's looking for a nice floral scent, okay? And the opening layer, guys! Lemon Lavender for the Flaming Candle! Yes! Lemon Lavender Fragrance Oil, okay? A an aromatic blend of herbaceous lavender and brilliant lemon pulp. The notes are, the top note, lemon green herbal. Middle notes, eucalyptus, lavender, geranium, and rose. And the bottom note, violet, musk, and tonka bean. It doesn't get any better than this, guys. It's just like perfect for spring, perfect for uh, a clean scent, you know, when it, it smells like you, you clean the house, it smells like you uh, bringing uh, beautiful vibes, spring vibes inside. The violet is magical. Eucalyptus also helps with the, uh, the cleanliness of the, in the air. <sighs> beautiful combination. So this is why I love opening the candle using this, okay? Because it screams, spring has arrived, okay? And that's it, guys, my two beautiful candles. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be uh, running HD test. I wanna see how these uh, candles uh, work, behave, you know? I just wanna see how, especially when, when it goes from one layer to another one. So I'm gonna be burning it all throughout next week and I'm gonna give you a final report on my next live stream is gonna be on February 13, okay? Not this Sunday, but the Sunday after next, okay? So let me just make a note of that, guys. Okay, so guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, please send me your comments, and recommendations, or anything, any kind of ideas that you have for me to make future videos. I hope you enjoy. And you know, and some, you know, I recommend for you guys to try this, you know? Uh, some people may try this without using color. I just wanted to use the color to give you a visual, visualization on how you know how this will look uh, so it's good for me to guide me okay when one color is about to finish and the other one is about to start i want to see how the blend is from this fragrance to this one okay and i will that's why i want to burn them next week so i could let you know the transition period okay yes Okay, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. If you haven't done so, share my content with all your friends and family and give it and give the video a like. And also, don't forget to check my other channel, Healthy Living with Michael, so you know more about my life in Portland. Okay, guys? So, until the next one, take care of yourself and each other, and I love you. Bye. Yes! Yes!